To get premium trading and investing tips, support on Patreon. How's it going everyone and welcome to another Market Watch video. Today as always, uh, we were looking at a few stuffs on stream every day from Monday to Friday. I'm trying to stream at 5.30 p.m. UK time. So if you guys have time, make sure to join as we look more in depth in everything from squad building into prices, into starter investments and all of that. Uh, today, of course, we have been looking at the new database with the top 1000 players has been released. We looked into a few players. We searched for some starter, uh, uh, cards to buy for our starter teams we didn't talk much about investments but we talked about potential prices and when to buy these cards now this was one team uh that was sent to me by one of the viewers fear fenix so thank you so much for this one uh and it gave me an idea for a squad which we made on stream which is this one uh basically got uh tyson on the left the share as a striker anthony on the right Vendel paulinho as defensive midfields uh, i usually switch uh into a 4-2-3-1 um formation in game so promise would be a cam right here uh, i need dest for the link to promise not the best right back but everybody else in my opinion would do the job uh very properly uh, i do think also someone like anthony tyson to share are very good because of their agility balance and from what i heard uh the beta is actually pretty similar to fifa 21 and the agility and balance is quite important so basically we try and look uh this team through a few players this year for example, one of the first one was Teixeira in FIFA 20, uh, which actually uh, Friday, October 4th was when the first weekend league was out. So buying the card before that is maybe not the best idea, uh, just because the price value of these lower end from uh, worse leagues cards, actually they drop as the weeks go by. Of course, he's going to find a low point uh, after the next weekend league, but uh, looking at it, you could have sniped this card under. 1k if you just waited for the first weekend league even if you bought on friday uh similarly to other cards someone like paulinho who was uh, 84 rated this year he's 83 um around the first weekend league is when he found a low point then he jumped a bit higher either there was like um an sbc that brought it up a bit in value or there was something that uh, actually made him go up in uh game demand wise uh we can't tell at this time but uh for as far as we remember uh, the best time again was to buy the card when the first weekend league started uh now edder miltau again uh this card because he was so hyped i do think the best time to buy him uh, was in the first week of its release of course he's going to be lower here at the end of october so maybe if we put it in fifa uh, 21 perspective we should see this card a bit lower in november um, uh, but anyways like the card actually started dropping in value after two or three weekend leagues so uh, if you wanted to play right at the start i recommend the cards more in demand that you buy them in the first week now if we go back to our example um i do think cards like uh Telus, uh will actually not be that high if he's still not from one of the best leagues he could have same patterns as last year where uh, around the first weekend league he went down to four to five k values which was very good um also if you guys are wondering why the cards values were lower when the weekend league started uh, it's because one is uh the hype uh, a lot of investors are around this game uh, and a lot of people are trying to uh, buy players and sell them when the weekend league starts in the previous years uh, the the case was that the cards actually went up in value uh, when uh, the weekend league was out but this year the weekend league uh, drop actually made the cards drop because i do think the supply was higher too many investors trying to hold the players and sell them off that's why you need to be very careful with who you're buying who you're investing in investment wise i don't think if any out of uh this squad is a good investment to go with i just think if you want to build such a squad you want to go in on friday when the weekend league starts uh, if you want to play with it uh in the weekend league and maybe try and get some results with it as a starter team of course uh many of you will potentially have already a better team at that time now another team that i was looking at was this one this is the bundesliga team i love it so much just because of the pacey defenders i do think the defensive line is great the midfield is very solid and compact
hot. Uh, and also, I do play this formation in game. I do think Rashica, because of his agility and balance, is just amazing. He doesn't have very good finishing, but I still think is a very good card to go with. Now, I do think Limer and Klosterman are going to be very hyped. I don't know if they will react similarly to what we were watching earlier at Miltao's price, but I do think um, they will hold some value. And if you want to go and invest, the hyped up players, which I think in this team are Limer and Klosterman, I'm going to try and get them in the first week of the release. Just buy them as soon as possible. Uh, to basically um, get uh, like the lowest price. Of course, they're going to be lower in a month or two, but I won't care at that point anymore. I'm probably going to upgrade the team at that time. Uh, of course, if we just look at Leon Bailey here, uh, last year he was 82 rated, so he's higher rated than last year. Uh, and basically the graph just shows how into October 4th and after it, he just keeps dropping in price. Lowest point was around October 11th, but even here, if you try and snipe them at 2K, like if you're losing 2K in one, uh, one week, it doesn't hurt that much. So if you guys are looking to invest in lower end starter team players and all of that, if we look at the past year's patterns, maybe the start of weekend league is when you wanna go in. Uh, also, there's gonna be a lot of daytime supplies so whenever the game drops, if a lot of people start opening packs and there's going to be flooding on the market, you can also take that opportunity to snipe some players. Last year, like sniping was just crazy. Some players were that were worth 5k, 6k were bought for close to 1k on the web app. If you haven't watched my sniping video yet, make sure to do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was informative. Uh, I will be streaming again on Friday if you want to join. Make sure to follow me on other social media as well. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or make sure to drop it on Twitter. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.